हेलो गाइज वी आर ग्रुप सेवन फ्रॉम के डिविजन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट द टॉपिक इंस्ट्रक्शन एग्जीक्यूशन साइकिल नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट कंटेंट्स सो वी विल गो डीपर इन टू इंस्ट्रक्शन फेचिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन डिकोडिंग डेटा फेचिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन एग्जीक्यूशन एंड राइटिंग रिजल्ट नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एक्चुअली इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल इज सो बेसिकली इंस्ट्रक्शन साइकिल इज ऑल अबाउट द वे इंस्ट्रक्शन आर फेस्ड फ्रॉम मेमरी decoded and executed by the processor you might not have understood what ic actually is by reading this but don't worry let's go deeper into it watching the instruction the cpu retrieves instruction from a system hard drive and stores them in a register location while decoding the cpu determines which system component are required in the execution of the instruction outlining parameter for a successful execution and while executing the program the cpu assigns the specific action to the relevant system component in order to carry out the initial program instruction processing the actual data hello everyone so today i am going to explain you the instruction fetching so in this phase the program counter plays a vital role so what is exactly a program counter a program counter is a register which stores the address of the next instruction to be executed hence depending on the value program counter address is sent through address bus to the memory and then specific instruction is sent back through uh, data bus now let us understand it through graphical simulation so here we have a program counter which is storing a value 1000 then the address of this is sent through address bus to the memory and through memory the specific instruction which is going to be fetched is sent through data bus so this is all about the instruction fetching cycle the next phase is instruction decode after fetching an instruction it is decoded from user friendly language which is familiar to the processor of computer system coming to the next phase data fetching in this phase data is fetched through data bus fetch the operand from the memory for instance a is equal to b plus c the above instruction requires the values of b and c to be fetched from the memory now let's starts with the instruction execution once the instruction get decoded the processor executes the instruction in this phase processor performs the action specified by the given instruction or we can say that the processor processes the instruction given by the user now let's starts with the writing result once the instruction is executed the result produce is written back to the memory and generally accumulator stores input and output data what are accumulators it is a register in which intermediate arithmetic logic unit results are stored then this result is sent back to memory through data bus so after completion of instruction cycle program counter is incremented by 1 in this way again a new cycle starts and goes on in the same way until all the instructions are executed